Hey everyone, I'm back again and I've got a cute little art journal-y kind of inspired layout today. And this is using week one stencil from the Katie Mix Media Etsy shop. And it's going to be using the Oddball stencil. So I've just mixed up some paint here, some purple and some white to just lighten the colour. And I'm adding some water just to thin it out to make it like more watercolour-y. I just want to streak it across the page. Nice and thin, I don't want thick, globby um, streaks of paint today. I just wanted something nice and thin, although I do go over a little bit, but it's still thin, like not thick acrylic paint that has gone on because of the water. So just using my thick brush here, and it's like, pretty sure it's a two inch brush. It's at least one and a half inch, if not two inches. So just covering the page, and this color is really lovely. It's actually inspired by some of the colours that are in the collections around at the moment. There's lots of flowers this colour and hearts and all those kind of lovely goodness. So I thought this would be a starting base and I had no idea what I was wanting to do other than I wanted to put some paint down and, and obviously use the stencil to see how I went. So I didn't have enough photo, didn't even have a photo picked out. So badly failing not badly failing I'm actually succeeding at failing I'm failing at doing some ink splatters with my paint here so I watered it down a bit further and I'm just flicking the brush rather than flicking the bristles that wasn't working just adding some texture because it was just a bit too bland having all that white at the back but I didn't want to cover it entirely it's so just going to clean that up give it a little bit of a dry because I was impatient and I didn't want to wait between layers and while I'm waiting for a little bit longer before I wash my brush in the in that little container, I'm going to add this paint to the art journal. This is actually my son's art journal, but his favourite colour is purple, so that works pretty well. So just putting it on. It's too lazy to even get some um, wax paper to put between the layers. That's terrible. But on it goes. And see, because it is watered down, it's got that nice little shine, but also it's just nice and thin kind of a rather than a bulky kind of paint is probably a better way of explaining what I'm trying to explain. So I really love, like the colour of purple is really so lovely. And on it goes, I don't know, if for an art journal I'm being pretty perfectionist, aren't I? A bit crazy, really. <laughs> it's meant to just slap it on and go for it, and that's building the layers. So back with my page and let's see what's going to happen. I only did this Friday and today's Sunday and I've forgotten what my next step was. Apparently watching, waiting you, letting you wait. Trying it a bit more just to make sure that it is doubly dry. The good thing about watering down the acrylic paint is wasn't, it's not tacky or anything. Even when it, sometimes when acrylic paint dries, it can be a bit sticky and tacky. Not, you know, oh, it's a bit tricky to, to explain. Hopefully someone knows what I'm talking about tonight because I seem like I'm a bit of a rambling mess that has no idea what I'm talking about. So just lightening this blue. It was a light blue already, but I wanted to lighten it again. It's sort of like a cornflower kind of a blue. So those colours are going to go nicely together, that purple and blue. And I believe this is where I get my the stencil out. What am I doing? What kind of editing is this tonight? So sorry guys. So here, yay, I've got out my folder with full of the stencils. And here it is, oddballs. So it's just a lovely checking which side's the glossy side. Because that's how they've recommended. Oh, and drying again. My goodness, what's going on? <laughs> so here we go. Using the stencil. Let's go for it. So I've got a makeup brush. Not a makeup brush, a makeup sponge that I've just brought from Target. Just a cheap one and I'm just dabbing it on there. Not thick. Some are actually quite see-through the dots with a little bit of blue. Others are darker. So on it goes and for some reason I move the stencil the other way. Otherwise, uh, Normally I would have left it the same way and done the same, ki same kind of thing. You know, not boxy but a bit of random. But it make it like it works. It's not going to be terrible or anything. It's just a bit more than... What I would normally do, I would reckon, but sometimes mistakes are what makes a perfect thing in the end. So adding some in the middle there, and at this stage is when I'm thinking, right, going with a bit of a diagonal look, I'll have the photo in the middle, 
and we'll see what happens. So on goes, whoops, on it goes. And now what? I probably should say stop saying that, isn't it? It's probably a bit boring for you. Let me just see what's happening and then we'll be able to talk about it. So I got out some of this pink paint and I've just got some of the lines of the stencil, you know, the edges because I didn't clean in between. I'm just adding some pink because what better colour to match these colours? It's some nice bright pink. Well, my camera is readjusting. I'm so sorry. I think it's because my hands are underneath. Anyway, so what's going on with everyone at the moment? Just coming into a week of leave. I've got to have have some health things fixed up and have a week off. So hopefully I'll be able to churn out some layouts, do some filming and do some editing and voiceovers. Just before I started this voiceover, I actually got the hiccups and I had to wait and I was like, it was funny, but it was a little bit frustrating and annoying at the same time. So just using my finger to dab this pink paint through the stencil, it gives a little bit of a different texture rather than the in the makeup brush. Uh, not the makeup brush, makeup sponge so just on it goes yay so just filling random dots with it covering over the blue giving it some layers you know you don't have to do it at you know next to each other and not be able to touching or anything like that it actually looks really cool when you layer things on top of each other like this makes it more more realistic but also gives it a bit more depth and texture to the layout and makes it fun. So on it goes. Using that blue up in the art journal again because those colours go well together. Being a bit of perfectionist again. It'd be interesting to see what my son makes with this page. He was quite excited when I showed him this morning what it looked like. So I've started it off a page for him. So that was pretty cool. I only didn't I didn't use my art journal because mine was in a bag. I'd taken it to work so that I could show some of the children what I what I do at home. They were quite excited. So that was pretty cool. It's actually quite flattering to hear other people enjoy artwork just like when I hear your comments or um things like that. So I got one of these Dilution paint pens. I actually got a black one and a white one. And it works so really well and then all of a sudden it stops working and I cannot get it to work again. Which is a bit frustrating because the bottom looks really great and I wanted to do some more up the top here. And I have to change my tact because it stops working. I don't know why. Actually, well, I pulled the nib out at one stage. You'll see this in a moment. But I don't know. Like, that's brand new. And this is what actually, this is why I haven't brought it before. Because I was like, oh, I got the um, the Winkostella ones and I couldn't get them to work properly. So I was holding off buying anything else the same. But I was like, okay, let's do this. Let's try it. And then, yeah, this is where it's not working. So I'm trying to clean it, trying to get some paint through. Come on, come on. I don't know. So I was, oh, and then I accidentally splatter and then I make it purposeful and do some more. And I think, well, all this paint's coming through, therefore the the, br the pen should be working, but apparently not. And I thought maybe it doesn't like that part. There I go, break the nib, put the nib in, looks like there's no problems with it. I just don't know. Oh, gosh. So hopefully when I go back to use it another day, it works and it stops having a connection. I don't know. I actually brought some cheap, like for $2 and $2.50, some paint pens from the cheap dollar shop. And they work really well. There's not, they're, they're sort of like the Posca pens here. Here's a blue one. And it looks really good. Anyway, so going in over some of these oddball dots from the stencil, just adding some extra lines to get it, to give it some thickness to the colour and some different colourness. Different colourness. Wow, great speaking. I'm going using the stencil again. So as you can see, the stencils are quite versatile. You can use the pens, you can use paint, you can splatter it on, you can use the makeup sponge, you can use your finger, you can use the paintbrush, you can use modelling paste. Today I wanted to show you. So a little bit of paint came out the side, so I'm shoving it around there. It's crazy. And then it spread out because of the way the paint was leaking out. 
So I dab it on to make it look like it was realistically what had happened. So using these stencils is just so awesome. I'm so excited to be on the de design team. It means that I get to, to challenge myself and use them each month, each week, each stencil each week and see what happens. So this, literally this layout, all I knew I wanted to do was use a stencil. I just sat down and I started and this is what came out of it. And I just, it's just great. This stencil is just so fun, so versatile. And I know I'll be using it for, for layouts to come and art journal and all kinds of things that I do arty crafty because it's just going to be one of those ones that you can do and use and use and use. So what am I doing? Gosh, I really need to pay attention when I'm editing lately. Sometimes I just leave in too much boring crap for you. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? So get out my uniball pen, add some white up the top because I it's the whites on the bottom is too heavy. On it goes, add in some, you know, outlines. That's the word I'm thinking. Add in some outlines to the to the dots, adding some splatters with the blue. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. And so see that blue pen was one of those cheap ones from the dollar shop so cool sometimes when you walk into the dollar shop what you can find using my paper towel don't know what I'd gotten over there <laughs> could, could have been any oh I was actually cleaning the stencil so using my sh thicker sharpie it's not a thick thick one but it's not the fine tip adding some of these outlines to these oddball dots adding some boldness and at this stage, I still have no idea what photo I'm going to use, what I'm going to add, anything like that. I'm just having fun with the process and creating and enjoying those oddball stencil dots. Yeah, yeah, on it goes. It'd be cool just to see what, you know, how many different things you could do with this oddball stencil. So adding my border, whoops, on it goes. And even like you could see, turning the page around, you could have it any kind of layout that you wanted. And actually, do have I got it round the other way to what I had? I think I do. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I think I might leave it like that actually. So I started with the other way up and, and turn it around. Ooh, I found a photo. So this is obviously, well... It's not obvious, but it's obviously a wedding photo. It's actually, that's actually myself. Three years ago, and then that's just in my friend's lounge room, getting ready to go before we went to the ceremony. It's not the, the best quality photo, but it actually is quite a sweet photo. So my flowers were purple. We had a really minimal for, um, wedding, so there wasn't much you know anything else so purple was my color because I love purple and so my flowers are purple so this layout goes really nicely together so I actually cut out that art journal I ripped out one of the pages because I, the paint goes I wanted more paint to go behind the background because of the color so I figured because I'd thrown out the paint or washed out the paint that I would use the art journal page so that's really lovely as a mat behind it and that gold um, doily was just too much so Got rid of that, bring in one of these lovely white doilies and I needed to frame it again with the black and it was just looking too, too straight. So rip, 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 rip a bit too much off but it actually works really well to have it only matted part of it. And I've got some blue tulle there. So it's light blue, baby blue kind of colour. Add it on with the tiny attacher and I think, oh, do I need more black? Nope, do not. So the tiny attacher just makes sure that the stents, I mean, the texture stays still because it is quite hard to glue down. And then, as you can see, I'm adding some fun foam. And this is the last of my fun foam. I actually need to go to the shops and buy some fun foam. I'm going to be lost without it until I go get it. Mm. so on goes some glue finishing up the layout because I really I don't even embellish it I don't add a title I just wanted to let the the stencil work do the the talking and the photo do the talking in this layout <coughs> oh. 
Oh my gosh, so sorry. And so yeah, as you can see, I just punched out some hearts from that art journal page. Oops, added a border, one with white, one with black. And do I call it a day? Holding it down because the glue was just not sticking to the tool. I actually had to re-glue it. As I said before, it's quite tricky to to glue such texture down. Texture. Texture. Whoa. You'd think I'd been drinking the way I'm slurring and not being able to talk. So, tiny word stickers. And I make this one into a banner. And it goes quite simple. Quite fun. Letting the background do all the talking. And the beautiful photo. So there you go. Sticking it down again. And calling it a day so just using my book as a nice heavy mat to push down see very versatile so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time thank you bye